Hi everyone and welcome to today's uh, very quick pen overview. Uh, this is a pen I got uh, in the mail uh, very recently. Uh, it is the Keiko Retro fountain pen, uh, which is a fairly new offering from the infamous Bobby on eBay. Uh, came beautifully packaged, uh, you know, uh, safely wrapped up and bubble wrapped and all that sort of stuff from China. It got here super quickly. Um, about a week from China to Australia, which is brilliant. Uh, and I think it's a really interesting uh, little pen. Uh, it says their retro classical fountain pen. Uh, and, you know, it's it's not a fancy pen. It's not overly expensive. It's a lot, it, it, co it does cost more than a lot of other Chinese fountain pens. This is in the 15 to $20 price range. Um, but it's got some interesting features that I quite like. Uh, firstly, this packaging, nice, that sort of frosted, um, hard plastic that we've come to know from a few of these sort of Chinese brands uh, and yeah it's just a, a, a nice uh, basic packaging. comes with two ink cartridges, it does come with a converter which is in the pen at the moment as I have it inked up, uh, but it is an interesting pen. So let's have a quick uh, look at it in some detail, uh, rounded uh, basic injection injection molded plastic uh, ends. Uh, I really like the vibrancy of this orange. It comes in a few different sort of finishes. I chose this one. The clip is a bit, um, I suppose, one of the retro elements of the design. Just a basic piece of uh, bent metal with a ball on the end. It's pretty stiff, uh, but you know, for a shirt pocket or something like that, I, I don't suppose it would be too much of an issue given uh, that ball on the end. Why I like this pen is that it is a hooded nibbed pen. Uh, and I like this design. I like the the uh, there's a there's quite a few pens that have, that have this sort of hooded nib design coming out of China. They are either um, oh, how do I I don't want to say rip offs, but you know what I mean of uh, other brands of pen. Uh, but this one has enough sort of interesting, unique features to make it um, a unique pen in its own, pen in its own right. Uh, it posts really well and it's actually really nice to write uh, with this pen posted um, or unposted. It's, it's light, it's balanced, the pen doesn't weigh much. Um, it's not a huge pen um, but it feels nice uh, in the hand. Let's just do some quick uh, size comparisons. First we'll look at a couple of uh, basic pens that we already know and love. Uh, the Lamy Safari and the Twisby Eco. So as you can see, it sort of keeps up nicely in, in terms of the, uh, the, the, the general sort of um, the size of these pens when they're unposted or uncapped, sorry. You can see once again, it still sort of more or less uh, keeps up with the size of these pens and uh, posted is where I actually think this pen is uh, a really preferred length because it's just a little bit sort of shorter uh, and so as I said feels very very comfortable uh, in the hand when it's uh, when it's posted. Um, as you can see sort of it sits nicely into the webbing of the hand, the balance is good, it's nice and lightweight. Just for uh, interest's sake, alongside a couple of other uh, sort of hooded nibbed pens, I have here the uh, the Wingsung 601 as a first sort of reference. Which so this is a slightly bigger pen than that. Um, once again, with that sort of same uh, basic sort of hooded nib design, and the size and the dimensions are fairly similar. Uh, so if you're familiar with that pen, that's what you're getting yourself in for here. One other hooded nib pen that I I really like, uh, and I'll get into why in just a minute, is the uh, Jinhao 911. Uh, now this is a, an all metal, well, metal body pen, it's slightly slimmer, uh, once again with a hooded nib, um, and feels nice in the hand likewise, it's sort of a good length when posted. Uh, it doesn't get anywhere near enough attention. I think it's got a really nice, very fine, very fine, extra fine nib on it as well. Um, now, why do I like these particular uh, pens more than, say, even the Wingsung 601 or some of the Hero uh, pens that are, are modelled off this same basic sort of design? Well, the main reason is that they're easier to clean. With this being a 
the 601 being sort of a vacuumatic sort of pen uh, and uh, the Heroes having the little rubber latex sack for filling, uh, cleaning them is a bit of a pain. Both of these pens are cartridge converter pens. So you have a converter in the pen, uh, which makes it a lot easier to clean. It's my, I like piston filled pens. I find them to be uh, probably my favorite filling system, but they're a bit of a pain to clean. So these cartridge converter pens are really the way to go for me. This one has a little sort of clear section there in the middle, um, which is described as an ink window, but really that's gonna be, uh, it's, uh, I don't wanna say it's useless as an ink window, because you can just see uh, the inside of the converter just there, but if it was, you know, a little bit wider or just a little bit higher, then you would see a little bit more of it and get a bit better idea of where the ink is at. Okay, so this isn't a review of this pen, but what do I really like about it? Well, I like the design, I like the color. The plastic doesn't feel like it's particularly strong, uh, but it feels okay in the hand. Uh, it's nice and light, uh, and the nib is good. It comes with a converter, which is great, and a couple of cartridges if that's what you want to go for. Um, so, Let's see how the pen writes. Now I've got this inked with um, Diamine Pumpkin and it's a really good match sort of in terms of the uh, orange of this pen. It's the retro. Now, and this is a Diamine. Okay, so you notice I'm skipping. That is me, not the not the pen. Um, I'm writing around a tripod, and uh, the one thing I will say is that this pen does have a fairly uh, narrow, sweet spot on the nib. As you see here, I'll rotate it as I write along. And so, actually, on this side of the nib, on the the left side, is a you actually get. A blank spot. Um, so if I rotate the pen at all that way, I get nothing. If I rotate the pen that way, sort of once again, I sort of get a bit more. But the sweet spot in the middle is quite smooth. Um, in fact, it's very smooth, and it's quite. And it's, I, I would almost go so far as to say it's a fairly wet pen for an extra fine. Um, I'll do my new thing that I'm going to try and do in all these videos. As I'm a left-handed writer, the writing experience is slightly different for me as it is for you. So I'll just do a little bit of um, right-handed writing. And as I always say, please excuse my actual handwriting. Okay, so it's very smooth. It actually has a really nice feel on the page. There's, it's, there's a little bit of feedback, but it's not scratchy. It's smooth, it lays down a nice line. It's not super fine for an extra fine, uh, but I really quite like it. So this is the, uh, the Keiko Retro pen, uh, fountain pen, classical fountain pen, uh, which as I said, I got from the infamous Bobby on eBay. Uh, really interesting pen, new on the market. I think it's really cute. Lots of different sort of colors. Um, Interesting pen for sort of an everyday carry, perhaps. At, it's not too expensive, but uh, you know, it's sort of it's got a nice sort of feel and a nice look. And if you got some of the darker colours, would be quite good for sort of professional use, as it wouldn't stand out with that sort of hooded nib system. It's not a an overly flamboyant pen. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to drop me a message on any of the platforms listed below. Uh, and check me out on, on Instagram. I am at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, link, or the, the written just here. Uh, and yeah, I'd love to see what you guys are up to, what you're working with. If you've got any questions or anything like that, get in touch. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.